Ladies and gentlemen, after doing about 10 tons of sand moving with this over the last three days, I can attest to the fact that this is the perfect setup for the Brindley box blade. And I had absolutely no problems with this setup. There was no more issues with the hitch plate on the back, the toe plate, ever since I did the reinforcements on it and this is also kind of a short video on pretty much everything about the Brindley box blade why this is a perfect setup and through that I'll let you know everything that I've learned in three years of owning this implement the first tractor this was on was a lawn tractor and you do not want to put this on a lawn tractor period uh, if you want more information on that, I'll link a video between garden and lawn tractor differences. The price on this particular model, which is the Bravo Sierra 38 Hilo BS 38H, 38 inch model, is between two and 250. And when looking at it, you automatically assume that, well, I just need a sleeve hitch and I'm done. So you're pricing it out about 500. The truth is, you are going to need weights, and you're going to need tires, and if you're looking at sleeve hitches, I had a manual one before where you had to lift the thing up and down, it had no down pressure, and those are about 300, 400 depending on your tractor, maybe as cheap as 200, but at the same time, I would never go back. Uh, this hitch, what you're looking at, this is probably about a thousand dollars set up with the weights and everything tires are 300 so when you get back to it the 200 or 250 for the implement is really just a small part of the price that you're really going to be looking at and Brinley just makes implements so they pretty much assume that you have a setup that is going to be capable of using the implement now as far as what it comes with, there is a uh, bracket here where you can put a cinder block and you can use it that way. It puts a little bit of downforce, but that's really not going to be ideal. To really get the most out of this implement, you're going to want an electric sleeve hitch. I'll work it up and down real quick just for those who haven't seen it. And see, it can put downforce onto the blade. And it's basically a necessary component for this to work right. The weights on the back, which I prefer over having wheel weights because these weights do not put an additional stress onto the axle and they put the weight onto the tractor just at the right spot. They would be 42 pounds or 19 kilograms for each one of these uh, suitcase weights. Other facts on the box blade, when you buy it, um, it's only going to be drilled with a latch like this on one side. And I think I'm the one that drilled and put this in here. But if you don't have a pin on both sides, uh, these are going to flex out and this will fall apart. And that's just a design problem and Brindley needs to correct that. So Brindley, if you're watching, uh, that's something that needs to be addressed. Most of the time you're going to be using this for pulling and it is pretty much the most stressful implement that you can put onto your sleeve hitch. The only thing that's more of a shock implement than this would be a moldboard plow or a ripper. But whenever you hit something with this, I mean you're already pulling about 100 pounds of sand with it or dirt or whatever it is, then the weight of the implement and when it hits something like a root, uh, it sends all that shock energy to the back plate of the tractor. And quite often uh, down here, it will develop cracks or it will bend. So in that case, I think these reinforcements are also going to be needed for a lot of tractors out there, including ones that are like the Series 2500, which is a fairly expensive 
end of the garden tractor category, but even though it was, and everything's heavy duty about the tractor, the back plate is definitely just four sheet metal screws. So that needs beefing up, which we've done. So main thing to take away from this is just because an implement looks inexpensive, that doesn't mean that that's the price that you're going to be paying. And you really have to be looking at the entire package and decide if you want to sink over a thousand, twelve hundred dollars into a setup where it's going to work great, but it's just something to take into mind when looking at the pricing. So I'll make a more detailed video on this, but I just want to do a little sit rep for you guys and just let you know it's working awesome. And this is all the weight that this tractor needs. I will not be adding wheel weights to it. It doesn't need any more weight than that. We're probably right now over the half ton mark. We're probably about 1,100 pounds with everything on here because the agros have a little bit more weight too. The ground clearance is excellent on it. And just for fun, I kind of parked like that just so you can see the axle difference on it for the front. It's also dirty, haven't washed it. So, so far so good. And on a little side note, if you've been following the Amp Caddy situation, this speaker's great. I've had rain on this thing, I've accidentally pressure washed it. Uh, it's a really great speaker. It's the uh, Pro 40 Watt model. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.